Okay, well, in terms of trophies, I mean, one team that do lack trophies would be Tottenham, yeah. exactly as you said. And I mean, with Antonio Conte, how important is his future with the club in terms of winning trophies? Because there's probably not many managers who are available, I should say, mm -hmm. that will come into Spurs right now and, and be well, the one the to deliver one. Well, he's the best manager that we ever have, yeah. I think, in the Premier League era that, we, that we've got. You know, he's absolutely fantastic. You can see that with the way he sets teams up, his passion. He's already won it. He's done it already with other teams. So it's massively important that we keep him at the football club. You have to invest in the summer with but players that he wants. With no Champions League, possibly, um, do you see him I don't staying? Think, no, well, I, th I'm, I'm just going to say, look, you know, outside looking in, He's a top manager, and whatever Daniel Levy thinks about it, and he's lost managers, why wouldn't you want to keep him? Yeah, yeah. And give him a little bit more. I know managers always want two more players, that's the way that is. All the time. But if you've got such a, such a good manager, yeah. you know, try, try and give him a, even a bit more quality to work with, then you've got a chance of winning I competition. Mean, when Jurgen Klopp came in at Liverpool, did they win instantly? Nope. No, no. They didn't. No, but, we didn't. But it, it was a process. And you go back, I see an interview that he'd done, Jurgen Klopp, when he first came in and was like, you won't believe what we're going to achieve together. And it takes time to do that. You can't just expect someone to come in, win, and then leave, or lose and then leave. You've got mm. to give him the... It's a process, especially with Tottenham, mm. because we haven't been a club that fights for, for trophies. So you've got to back him. You've got to give him a few seasons and you've got to give him what he wants because but, he is a world-class manager. But, and you're also dealing with the fact that they're still paying for the stadium, which, you know, I'm not, I've not been, everyone tells me, but it's absolutely fine with this, which is great. But to be able to do that and obviously still be able to sign yeah. quality players, yeah. is, that's, that's the magic formula. But that's not the question. Do you think he's going to be there? Because with yes. PSG, you think he's still going to be there. So even at PSG, why would, regardless. Like, well, let me say, why would you go to PSG? Because you're... It's an ego thing, I guess you could say, that but he it, could be the one to deliver the Champions League to PSG, which is a trophy they want more than anything. Yeah, but they're, they're not good enough to win it. And also, if, if, if no, you... No, but with Conte there? Well, I'll tell you now, have, have you seen them play? They play 1-7-3. <laughs> no, they do. And the seven have to do all the work for the three <laughs> geniuses up front. But, you know, if, if you look at them when they, went, when they went to Madrid, they were walking it. They were walking it, but it's just something in the, in their psyche that they just can't can't get but through. But isn't there an ego that a manager could say, "I yeah, want to be the one is. that comes in"? Yeah, of course there is. But then, but then, I mean, the owners, they have an awful lot to say. An awful lot to yeah. say. I think I think if they step away a little bit and they said to Conte, "Right, come and run it," but we'll back you. I think he'd be interested. But at the moment, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought. Why do you want to leave the Premier League? Why yeah, would you want to leave the thing. Premier League? You know, like, all right, Champions League, great. You could get knocked out. It's a cup competition, early doors. That's 12 games of a season you only get that you're fighting for at PSG because they win the league every season. We know that. They're going to walk it. It's not even an achievement. Pochettino is going to get sacked. They've won the league. Yeah. yeah. So why would you want to leave because the Premier already, League where all already, the best managers are and all the best won, football players are? He's already won the Premier League. He's okay, done it with Chelsea. Do, uh, yeah, but, but his next one's challenge not enough. Even more so, if you've won it with Chelsea, right, why wouldn't you want to go and win it with Tottenham? Because then it's even better. Will he win it? Do you think he can win well, it? I don't Tottenham? know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it depends who they sign in the, sign in the summer. We don't know. Right, but let me let me put it this way. Which is more likely, winning the Champions League of PSG or winning the Premier it's League? It's a horrible question. Neither. With, <laughs> not, you neither. have to give me one. No. Because this well, is the Conte situation right now. It's a it? horrible question to ask because it's PSG. It is. It's PSG to win the Champions League. It's root, It's almost routine to win Ligue 1. And I mean, if you don't win it, well, yeah, oddly yeah. enough, they didn't win it last no, season. No, but it's, it's almost it's almost routine, and who's who's really bothered about but them winning it? it? But it's the Champions League, so again, oh, to get in the Champions League, but no, not with Spurs, which is more which is more enticing, winning the Champions League with PSG for Conte, or staying at Tottenham and winning what's the more Premier enticing? League. What's more enticing, and which is more plausible? What's more easier is PSG trying to win the Champions League well, because go, of the then. players they've got. But what's more enticing and more historic? He's winning the Premier League with Tottenham. Yeah, so and so you've won with two different clubs. Mm, yeah, that would be an achievement. And you know, you say you say yeah. it's not, you say it can't be done. And I'm not saying we're anywhere near it now. We're probably three, four years away from that, in my opinion, if everything goes right. We took six points. Ryan Zess said it. Took six points off Manchester City this season, and you've drawn twice with Liverpool, the two best teams in the country. You know, the the biggest thing now after the manager at any club is is head of recruitment. If you get that right. You've got a great chance. They've got it right here. I think they signed one player who actually, the goalkeeper who obviously is gone now, but every single player they've signed, even the ones between 30 to 40 million who are good players, they've made them even better. And that's the key to doing yeah. it. Yeah, that was almost ready made.
effectively. Well, there you go. Just, just need a little bit of polishing up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So it's it's knowing your market. It's it's recruitment. Yeah. OK, we're going to hear from Antonio Conte in just a moment. So let me ask this question, just because it's in the news. For the third time in as many years, Graham Potter's name has been linked to Spurs. So if Conte right. goes, let's put that in. Why, why, no why, chance. <laughs> no why chance. are we doing Graham this? Potter. I'm reacting to the news. That's no all. That's all right. no? no. No, what's he done? Well, he plays enticing football. He plays good mm, football. The players they, seem to they, like him. They just him. had a run of about nine games where they didn't win. I mean, he's, he's done a good job and he's really, really well backed. Um, you know, by Tony Bloom and everything, but it's a it's a massive step up that. It is. I uh, he he, tra he helped step. transform Scandinavian football when he was there with Ossesons. I mean, he's done a fair amount of remarkable work. I like work. Graham. I, I like him. And if Antonio Conte was to leave, I wouldn't be disappointed if we appointed him. And I don't think the fans would be. But for me, you, you know, you've got a standard there of Antonio Conte. You've had Jose Mourinho. Why why but, do you need okay. to drop to that I level? Think, I think I think Graham Potter needs another job before he goes to the top jobs. Leicester, if Rogers leaves. Why, where is he going? Apparently he's You're sucking every manager. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm playing, playing the hypothetical. Does anybody know what he's playing in the Premier League? League? I'm playing the hypothetical game here. Right. Oh, I'm Where's just going the, by the rumour mill. Well, Brendan's not going anywhere. But supposing he does. Well, would a, would a club supposing like Supposing you didn't ask us any questions when we owned by now. <laughs> no, it's just you're saying he needs yeah. another club. I mean, would Leicester no, be the, Graham the profile? Uh, yeah, something like that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah most, most definitely. If he, if he could take them. But listen, you know, the thing about Leicester is they've had awful injuries all season. Their recruitment's really good as well. They're another one. And, and they, if they get all their fit players back, they're, they're going to be right up there. I just think with Graham Potter, he's done well so far. But it's like it, there's another hurdle and then there's the big one. All right, final thing on this before cool. we hear from Conte. <laughs> You've shot me down when it comes to Potter and to an extent Rodgers. Who knows, maybe he'll end up at Spurs. Who no. could take over Antonio Conte? Why are we talking about this? Because Antonio Conte the is not leaving the football club. OK, he's not leaving. He's not leaving All the right. football club. It's absolutely not happening. Whether we get in the Champions League or we finish fifth, Antonio Conte will be Spurs manager next season. OK, can we can we make sure we're recording that? We're <laughs> oh, clipping yeah. it because if anything... So go and have a bet the book is on Monday. <laughs> if anything happens in the summer, I'm putting that straight up. Yeah, I know, media. I know. OK, it's going straight up. You heard it here first.